Alrighty guys, good morning. It is May 29th and this is going to be a new video. I'm going to go over my leg workout and just a few other things. This is a new weigh-in that I hit this morning, 226.6 if you can see that. So this is when I got back from vacation right here. I was at uh, 235.8. 235.8, left on vacation at 228.8, took me about 8 days, but I just hit a new low weigh in a day. So we're going to be at 225 before you guys know it. Um, I'm guessing the weight I'm going to get to is probably going to be 215, 210, it's going to be the new uh, goal, this diet, maybe even under 200, but we'll see, but I'm going to take you guys through everything, take you guys to the leg workout today. Um, so sit back for the rest of the video. What are we doing? All right, so 275 for four sets of five. About five to six reps. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys one more set to get up to it. I got the knee sleeves on today. I like to do that when I'm dropping weight because my knees feel like they're very brittle once I get under like 230. Plus I gotta keep up with my workout partner. So let's get it. Set one done. Um, we're gonna work up to 275, like I said, four sets of whatever the hell I can get. Uh, like you saw, I woke up at 226.6, new low weigh in. Waiting for the pre workouts to kick in so I can at least get a decent workout in. We did four sets of five with uh, 275. And I didn't show you guys, but we just hit 30 reps at 135. Here we're here. My gym partner's doing it right now. I like to finish up with that um, for squatting. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get into the rest of the workout. So far we've done four sets of five and 275 and one set of 30 at 135. So buddy. Legs are pumped. The lighting over here sucks. Let's go over here. The lighting still sucks over here. Two twenty six, guys. <clears throat> We're coming in, guys. Coming in hot. Two twenties on the way. We're gonna hit some uh, hamstring, dumbbell, uh, Romanian deadlifts with the dumbbells. Alright guys. I'm gonna be super raw with you. I'm feeling like absolute dog shit right now. Uh, 226 even today. Um, these dead, these, <laughs> oh, I gotta catch my breath. So yesterday I hit, we hit deadlifts. I think like five sets of five, 315. Um, just regular, uh, your standard deadlift. I can't even think right now. Um, but this is it guys. We're 
hitting hamstring curls or hamstring uh, dumbbell deadlifts, or many dumbbell deadlifts. We're doing it, guys. Feeling it today. Calories are decreased. Sunday, I'm gonna get sushi. Um, if you're watching this video, I don't think I've announced a date yet for the launch of the joggers, but I expect the next video will be a, um, most likely will be a sizing video on everything, joggers, shirts. These shirts fit true to size, unlike the other products I've had, and joggers fit true, true to size, so that's about it for that clothing. I'm sampling more products as we speak, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this workout in, guys. I'm gonna give you guys a posing update after this video. Show you guys where I'm at at 226. Huge difference between when I first started at 250 but when you guys first saw me at 243. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this workout. like that we're done with the leg workout guys uh, three movements four movements actually uh, crush the quads so the way I set it up instead of so if I squat I usually squat enough to make it an entire quad workout um, otherwise I'll break it down to like uh, just a few squats like a few reps and then like uh, quad extensions and then maybe a um, I don't know, like at lunch. But today we just went like, how many reps did we do? 25, 55? What do we do? Four sets of five on the squat and then 30? I did four six, you did four five. Four five. So I did 50 reps on the squat, heavy, light, and then we crushed um, lying hamstring, and then we crushed about four sets of 10 on the uh, deadlifts, and then we just did some calves. Um, so we got 40 minutes of cardio. I'll show you guys the physique. Uh, what time you got to be out of here? Normal time, but like really. Okay. So actually, we're just gonna do 30 minutes of cardio. Then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys my physique, and then uh, we're gonna get out of here. Take you guys throughout the next 48 hours of my day. Um, leave a like, comment if you like the video this far. Sorry, my energy is very low right now. I'm super duper hungry. Um, like the video, actually put in the comments if you guys want me to do a recipe video because I'm making like the best burgers imaginable for super low calories with avocado and my god, I, they're so good. So if you guys want to see a recipe video, um, I'll definitely put that up for you guys, whatever you guys want to see. But uh, make sure you leave a like on this video, it, shows, it gives a lot of support. Um, but yeah guys, enjoy the rest of the video. Alright guys, uh, I think it's been about two weeks since I showed you a physique update. Just finished 30 minutes of cardio. My skin is peeling from the sunburn I got. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I'm looking at. 226 as of this morning. Last time I gave you an update, I think it was 231, 232. So let's go. Show you guys what I'm working with. Okay. So 225 was an initial goal. Uh, I definitely overshot. I'm probably gonna get down to 210 to 215, but this is the physique. Definitely leaner, right? A little bit leaner. Yeah. A bit you got the top of the abs. Yeah. Sucker posing. The back. Always my strongest part. Obliques. Not coming in quite yet, but you still got 10 pounds in the legs. So we're working with guys. I'm gonna continue guys for the rest of the day, show you guys some meals. Uh, 
Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm probably going to vlog, but that's, that's the physique, guys. Probably got 10 to 15 pounds more to go. Catch you guys in the next clip. What is up guys, <clears throat> it is May 30th, uh, Wednesday, and this is the day after I just shot the late workouts. I'm actually gonna go ahead and I'm gonna finish this video up here, but um, I'm gonna finish it off with three, as you can see in the title, the three best tips for when you're on if it fits your macros. If you're tracking your calories, make sure this lighting is decent. better can you see me okay cool actually you guys can see me let me move these flowers just a little bit all right so i'm gonna do a real quick video it's gonna be um what to do or i guess three major tips that i like to include when i am tracking my calories when i am in a diet or this is mainly for if you're in a diet um i could do a video when i'm bulking again but that probably won't be until late september probably even later actually more or less late october but um, I wrote down a few notes here on my phone. Um, as you guys can see, I woke up this morning at 2.28. Um, and I'm just, this is going to be a segue real quick into the video. Um, I woke up two pounds heavier from my heaviest weigh-in. And I, as I was driving to the gym, I was really confused. I was like, you know, why am I two pounds heavier? I hit all my macros. And the one thing that I can uh, conclude is that I had Chipotle yesterday. <coughs> Now, I'm not saying Chipotle is unhealthy. I'm not saying Chipotle is not possible to eat while you're dieting. But what I am saying is that it's fully loaded in salt. When you eat foods high in salt, especially if you eat food like this, which I have here, a burrito with uh, some egg whites with mustard and ketchup. And I have egg whites and avocado actually in my burrito. When you eat foods like this that you know have a natural level of salt in it and you, you know how much salt you're eating, it's a lot easier to track it and your body won't react in a negative way. Whereas my body reacted in a negative way because of the Chipotle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go over three tips. Actually, if you guys can just give me one second, I'm gonna go over and go over three tips. Let me just go do something real quick. I'll be right back and I'll fire away with the first tip, followed by two more. And I know that these will help you a lot in your diet process. Alright guys, I'm back. <clears throat> so there was, uh, I had Game of Thrones on downstairs and I paused it and it, I guess it like automatically like unpaused itself so it started like making noise and I didn't want that going on in the background. Also, I wanted to go ahead and I wanted to develop this kind of, like, like I did for the one video when I talked about the business strategy of the business and how to really um, run a business a certain way, the way you want it to be ran. <clears throat> if you guys remember that video, um, please just let me know because I really like doing videos like that. Um, they're more up my alley. I'm not saying I know a lot about business, but what I do know, I want to give to you guys. <clears throat> so this is just something that I put together real quick, and you can see a lot of videos on it on YouTube. Um, this this is I'm not a scientist. I'm not a new, I'm not a registered nutritionist. I'm not a certified personal trainer yet, but I will be uh, by mid July. Um, but no, I, I'm not a nutritionist. But this is just stuff that's helped me and stuff that I implement and it, 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 it gives me dramatic results. And I like my videos of the vlogs and vacations and stuff like this, but this is something I wanna incorporate a lot more. And you guys can see that when I did this posing update in this video that you're watching, I have lost weight. I have, um, obviously I've lost weight. I, you guys started and I was at 243, now I'm at 226 even. You know, you do the math. At 17 pounds right there. But if you start from the top of my diet, I was 250 and now I'm around 226. So clearly I have lost a decent amount of weight. I've lost fat and I have um, been able to obtain and still remain at a certain muscle mass that I like. So I'm just gonna show you guys three diet tips for the if it fits your macros diet. This isn't keto, I can go into keto, I've done keto, I've lost over 100 pounds on keto or actually 80 pounds. Um, this isn't a high fat or a high protein, low carb keto diet. This isn't um, anything. It isn't, it isn't a diet to make money off of. This is just a simple three diet tips for if it fits your macros. So I'm just going to run over each one, show them to you guys, and then I'm going to run over every single one right here. 
So you got the first one that says, that says stay consistent. You have keep it simple and don't drop your protein too low or too fast. Now, those are some keys that I think are very self-explanatory, but if you get into them, um, they can be more complicated. And I guess what the best way for me to explain it is when you hear what I say, you're like, oh, that makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get right into it. Keep it as short and sweet as possible. The first one was stay consistent. This is something that when you get on FF50 macros, if you're somebody who, who's like myself or anybody, and I think this is, this is this is a saying with anybody who gets on this diet. So basically what if it fits in macros is you have a set of macros. Let's just keep it super simple. 300 carbs, 200 protein, 100 fat. Now throughout a the period you wake up from the period you go to bed, you want to consume, you want to hit those macros. So if you take a piece of chicken breast that has zero grams of fat, zero grams of carbs, one gram or and then 30 grams of protein, you eat that at nine o'clock in the morning and you started at 200 grams of protein, 200 minus 30 equals 170. You now have 170 grams of protein to consume to hit your 200 grams of protein per day. Now, what a lot of people do when they get on, if it fits your macros, and this is my best way, this is the best way I can explain it, is you wake up, you still have 30 grams of protein, but let's say you have 30 grams of protein from a bagel with cream cheese, you have, um, there's, a protein that you really like, but it's higher in sugar, it's higher in carbs. So you, you take that into, and then maybe you have a scoop of peanut butter. Now you just had 30, 30 grams of protein, but from different sources and from a uh, higher calorie dense foods. So that's essentially what it fits your macros is. As long as you get in the protein or you get in your carbs and you get in your fat, because that's what makes up calories. That's what makes up a macro. Um, that's what if a 50 macros is. You just get in your macros. Um, so with that being said, the first tip is keep it simple. When you get into it, you're gonna wanna eat donuts instead of eating um, sweet potato. You're gonna wanna eat um, fried food instead of just throwing a spoonful of peanut butter, a more natural source. But that's okay, that's okay at the beginning of the initiation phase when your calories are still high. They're only like 100 calories less from your uh, your your base calorie surplus, or your base calorie expenditure, BCE, I think it's called. That's okay, but as you get deeper into the diet, you're gonna to wanna to keep it simple. For me, I haven't eaten this meal, trust me, I'm starving. It's 1.30, 1.30, and um, this is my first meal, but it's a meal, it's one of the only two meals I've really been eating a lot lately, and it's egg whites, 10 servings of egg whites, um, one, one spinach wrap, and that's it, that's it. It's a lot of protein, decent amount of carbs, and then I go to work. But I also, in my, my fitness pal, I already have my second meal, which is two turkey burgers with two bagels. That's my big meal. And I have this, which is also a big meal. And then I fill in the gap with whatever. If I eat a piece of chicken at work, or if I eat some fries at work, I fill in the gap. But it's simple. I have this meal, and I have this meal, and I fill the middle. So there's no stress on me. So that's tip number one. And getting into a routine, it kind of ties in with the same meals. Once you have the same meals, get in a routine, don't 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 mess up the routine. And if you do mess up the routine, understand the ramifications of it. Like I did that with Chipotle. That's why I woke up two pounds hairy because I had a lot of salt in me, which retained a lot of water. And I also didn't drink as much water as I should have yesterday. So tip number one: stay consistent with it. Try your hardest to stay on the um, the if it fits your macros. And throw in a snack here and there, but keep it super simple. I would I would keep it ninety percent the same. And that's just me. A lot of people say, no, you know, you can go, you can do 50%, stay consistent in the 50%, whatever. But it doesn't work like that for me because I, I, well, I am a fat guy at heart. I've been fat my entire life. So if you put a bagel or a donut in front of me, I can't just have one for pre-workout. I'll have one for pre-workout, one for intro workout, and one for post-workout. And then nighttime comes around and in my mind, I'm like, oh, wait, I can't have any more carbs. That's okay, as I mean the donuts. But then when nighttime comes around, I'm like, oh shit, I really want carbs. So that screws me up big time. So tip number one, stay consistent. Um, I'm actually gonna throw this in as tip 1B. So I'm gonna give you guys four tips. So um, this, this just came to my head. And that is uh, intermediate fasting. I, I highly, highly, highly recommend that. Intermediate fasting is basically you cut down your eating window to as low as possible. You have 24 hours a day. I start eating at one o'clock. My last meal is at 12 o'clock. That is a large window for intermediate fasting. That's about 11 hours. Ideally, if I didn't work until midnight, I used to do it from 
one o'clock to 10 o'clock, nine hours, where most people will eat from the moment they wake up, eight o'clock until they go to bed, 10 o'clock. You know, so that takes it down to 14 hours. So the intermediate fasting is you just shrink the window and hit your calories right there in that window. That really, really helps you stay full, but you wake up hungry, but, it, but as the time you're awake, you stay full. Obviously you can't go out and eat while you're sleeping. So it's a big, big tip. So that's tip 1B. So I consider that tip number two. So tip number three is keep it simple. Um, this kind of ties in with tip number one, stay consistent, but keep it simple. Eat good foods. If there's foods, I, I, this is what I like to call them. I've never heard of people. I've never heard people call them this way. But you have protein foods, car foods, and fat foods. And then you have foods that kind of have a little bit of trace of this and that. I like you know a, a bagel has like 10 grams of protein. Some bagels have 10 grams of protein. I don't consider that a protein food. I consider that a carb food. So when when I say I keep it simple, I mean eat whole foods. Like eat like avocados with fat. Don't eat like ice cream for fat. Now. You can you can switch it up every once in a while. If you get yourself a Halo Top ice cream, just know that Halo Top has a lot of sugar alcohol, which retains a lot of water, which will mess up your weigh-in. And if that if you have a very mental issue, hard mental issue with your weight and your weigh-ins, then don't do it. Eat whole foods. Eat chicken breast. Eat steak. Eat avocados. Eat bananas. Eat fruit. Eat vegetables. You would be surprised. That stuff tastes good if you just change up a few ingredients. Add a little bit of salt and pepper, garlic powder on your chicken. It tastes good if you add a little bit of honey on your fruit. It tastes good. So just I, I'm, I'm weird like that. The deeper I get in a diet, I almost it almost doesn't look like I'm on if it fits in macros anymore. But I am because I still enjoy like a pizza from California Pizza Kitchen or Chipotle or stuff like that. But I understand the ramifications. Um, Try not to eat out a lot. That kind of goes underneath to keep it simple. So we have eat whole foods, try to eat as many whole foods as you can, and try not to eat out. When you eat out, your body reacts to the salt. Because wherever you go, even if you say don't add salt to whatever, just, and I'm not picking on Chipotle, but when Chipotle comes in, and if you guys work at Chipotle, let me know, because this is my hypothesis, but I've been told this by people, by my friends who used to work at Chipotle. When it comes in, and I work at a restaurant too, when it comes in from wherever is manufactured, it comes in in a plastic bag. Now, you gotta remember, when some food comes in a plastic bag from a shipping company, it has to be preserved. And what does it have to be preserved with? Salt. So what am I saying here? Even if you ask for no salt added, there's always salt in food. There's always salt in food. Salt and sugar is in everything. So if you don't eat out a lot and you can manipulate your own calories to know what you eat every day, then, then you know exactly what you're putting in. I know exactly how many calories on this. I measured it out. You know, I measured out what I'm eating. I'm not counting the salsa, but that's okay because I do it every day. I know what I'm eating. But if you go out and you, let's say you go to Taco Bell, you try to get a burrito, you don't know what you're eating. You don't know if they add an extra scoop or whatever. And if you do that four or five times a week, that could add up to an extra thousand calories. They're just going to throw off your weight loss. And once again, up here, it throws up your mental side too, which is the worst. Tip number four, the final, final tip I have to give you. I think this is one of the most important tips and one tip I don't think that you're gonna find on any other video and this is why I'm excited to share because it has everything to do with protein. I think protein is like the, unf it's like the forgotten macro and if it fits your macros. And I think the reason why it's forgotten is because it doesn't taste that good. And people just kind of like let it go. They're like, I'm gonna set it here and I'm not gonna play around with it, which, and I and I am fully backing that. But it's the people that take the, take the protein and they manipulate that too quickly or they drop it too quickly or they drop it too low from the beginning. So you just get lower and lower. You gotta remember, if you want muscle and you want to um, keep some muscle while you're dieting, you have to eat your protein. Protein is a building block of muscle. It always will be. It will never change. If you're on steroids, if you're not on steroids, if you're not eating protein, it doesn't matter. Nothing else matters. You're not going to build muscle without protein. So when you start with macros, try to keep your protein as high as possible. Remember, if it fits your macros, isn't a golden ticket to just go eat gummy bears and pop tarts. You still have to eat your protein. Get your protein in. If you're like me, I'm at 180 grams of protein. That's pretty low, but I will not drop lower than that. I went from 205 to 180 within a month and a half. That's okay. I'm not going to drop under 180. If I want to drop my calories again, which I probably won't, I will probably, what I would do is decrease carbs. Manipulate your carbs, manipulate your fat. Do not manipulate your protein. You want to keep that because you're going to start noticing muscle loss. And obviously, you're going to already have muscle loss if you're at a calorie uh, deficit. But you want to kind of, you want to, you want to, Keep as much muscle as you possibly can. 
So don't 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 manipulate the protein. I mean, if it's high, then decrease it a little bit to get it to moderate. But like I, I'm at 180, and that's the lowest I'm gonna go. That's pretty low. But that's within. That's just like a big tip. I, I think a lot of people talk about carbs and fat, which is good. That's what they should be talking about. Protein just kind of. Keep it there. Let your body roll with it. Plus, if you start decreasing your protein, it messes up your meals. And if you increase your protein, it can be hard because you realize like protein doesn't taste that good when you're dieting because you don't get to eat cheeseburgers. You don't really, I mean, you can if you want to, but you have to sacrifice. You don't really get to eat steak unless it's super, you know, lean steak, which isn't as fatty, which isn't as good. But yeah, guys, those are four tips for if you're on if it fits your macros. If you like these kind of videos, leave it a like. Um, put it in the comment section like this. I like doing these informative videos, especially when I lean up. I guess it builds more credibility. So like I'm actually doing it, but also at the same time, it's just something I love to do. It's something I studied in college, and so. But that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave it a like, subscribe, share it with all your friends if you haven't already. Thank you so much for listening, guys. Peace. See you in the next one.